Lenny, thank you. The Interactive Resource Center in Greensboro is getting ready for the official start of winter in a couple of weeks. Among other things, it serves as a warming shelter at night when temperatures get dangerously cold, but soon it'll offer services 24 7. Kara Peters is live in Greensboro tonight to fill us in. Kara. Yeah, Kenny, this is only phase one of the IRC's 24 seven drop in center. And with this development in the works, leaders say that this will provide a safer, more warmer option for people. The Interactive Resource Center on East Washington Street preparing for around the clock services to help those in need. Currently, the IRC serves as a day center operating Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. During the day, our services that are fundamental are offered and those will continue into an evening shift and an overnight shift. And that includes things like bathrooms, showers, laundry, um, basically the things that people need to get done during the day. Executive Director Christina Singleton says one of the reasons for moving to a 24 seven service is due to a growing homeless population in Greensboro. The expanding numbers told us that not only during the day, but all times of the day, people need the resources that we're offering. There's a real lack of resources right now. Um, you know, all of our shelters are reporting that they're full. Um, we don't have as many resources as we've had in the past during winter, especially. The IRC provides mental health services, medical care and case management. Singleton says the drop in center will add on to that in a more safe, secure way. It creates some consistency and that way folks always know when we're open. It's not a matter of getting the word out. Um, it's a safe, sanitary place to be able to use all all the resources that we have here and not have to be an extra strain on things like EMS, police, ambulatory care. Um, so we're hoping it'll be better for the whole community. And Singleton says we will likely not see these services until early next year, but the IRC is always in need of donations. To learn more about that and the center itself, you can visit our website later on tonight at WXII12.com. We are live tonight in Greensboro. I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News.